Hello internet, it's been a while since I've done one of these, um, me sitting on my bedroom floor, thrusting videotapes in front of the camera. Um, this mostly serves as a test of my new phone's video recording qualities. I now have an iPhone 5S, and judging on what I can see in the little preview it's giving me, this is it's actually looks quite nice. But yeah, as you can probably tell from the title of the video, I'm going to be redoing some of my collection videos soon, and I figured I'd start off with what got my channel to where it is in the first place, which is my Disney clamshell American releases. I have a fair few of them. I don't know how many exactly. I couldn't be bothered to count beforehand, but I'll put... I'll, I'll count it after I'm done, and then put a put it in the description or something. And I just realised this, this has just been nearly a minute of me unnecessarily rambling on, so... I probably should get a move on with this video. So, we're going to start things off with my classics releases. This is combining both from the cheesy Black Diamond era and the, was it the Sorcerer Mickey one? And the first one I have of them is Dumbo, which is supposedly the 1985 release, but I think this is a later printing because it comes in the white case. A very well used sticker label, as you can see. Um, and the print date here is. May 15th, 1988. And the next one is Bambi, which I've never actually seen, but I don't think I'll be able to watch with the straight fits. If you've ever seen, I think, I think a video is called Dope Fish Watches Bambi, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to hell for watching that video, but whatever. This has the vertical sticker label, like always, and the running time is an innuendo if you're immature or me, but it's basically the same thing. And this does not have a print date, surprisingly. Uh, next one is uh, The Jungle Book, which, for certain people, i.e. Or, or, what's his name, Breezy Orb Station 87, this one must be a bit of a piss take, because he spent, like, 17 years trying to locate a copy of this, and I found one in six months that I was actively even trying. This has an ink label, and Spring Lead, I don't know what that means, but this is printed on... April 3rd, 1991. Um, and the next one is Beauty and the Beast, which is a very good movie. The first animated movie to ever be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture, and the only one that happened while there were still only five nominees. Um, I recorded the closing a while back, but I haven't rewound it, as you can see. Um, this is Christmas Lead, which is printed on November 23rd, 1992, but it has the opening previews, which some have found on 1993 printings. And the next one, I think, actually, yes, this is the final um, Black Diamond thing I have, is Aladdin. Another Disney classic I still haven't seen, but I hear very good things about it. And there ain't never been a film like it, that's a double negative, you fools. Um, and here we are. The, apparently there are two versions of this tape which have one of them has a little screen before the preview start, and then one of them doesn't. I think this one doesn't, but I don't remember. I uploaded the opening. Go check it out if you want a definitive answer. This is printed July 31st, 1993. And now we're coming on to my Masterpiece Collection titles. I've got a few of them. The first one of them is Lady and the Tramp. Fully restored, THX certified. This is a, it's a really sweet... I saw this in 35mm back in... December, and it's it's a really, really sweet film. It's not the greatest Disney film out there, but you could do a lot worse. This is printed on August 15th, 1998, which means it's 18 years old as of Monday. And whereas I'm 18 years old as of October. That's going to be exciting. Um, there's a bunch of stuff on the inside. Look inside. Treat yourself to valuable savings and exciting new offers from Disney World. Save two dollars now! Kids ride through it. I was. Oh, and, wow, that's an old logo. Um, oh, wow, okay. I, I kind of understand this. Get Lady in the Tramp, and then you get cheap pasta sauce and Christmas ornaments, despite the fact that this video is released in fucking August. Um, yeah, in there. Next one is The Lion King, featuring. Uh, what initially looked like a very shoddily done portrait of Mufasa, but oh, come on, everybody's seen this. It's to many the definitive Disney film, and I think 
it's a fantastic film. Um, I haven't rewound this for a long time. This was printed on October 3rd, 1995. Um, and the next one I have is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which was the first Masterpiece Collection title. And there are some, some copies of this have the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo after the introduction by Roy Disney. Some of them had the Walt Disney Home Video logo. This is the one that has the Walt Disney Home Video logo. And this was printed... What is that? I think that's... August 24th, 1994. And the next one is Oliver and Company. Some might argue, why should I worry or care about this one? And this is the last Masterpiece Collection title I have, actually. And I think it's the most, no, no, the most recent Lady and Tramp, but yeah, this is, this is printed July 9th, 1996. Um, next I've just got a couple of assorted Disney Home Video titles. Actually, no I don't, this is, this is Aladdin and the King of Thieves, which I don't know what this is doing in with my Masterpiece Collection stuff, but whatever, I guess I'm just gonna have to roll of that. This, I haven't seen this, actually no, I have seen this, I used to watch it all the time as a kid. But I haven't seen it since then, so I can't really judge. It does have Robin Williams back as Genie, so I guess that's something. This is printed July 11th, 1996. And, okay, this is the final um, Masterpiece Collection title I have. This is The Aristocats, which I used to love as a kid. This is one of my favourite Disney films, but I haven't seen it since. There were so many Disney films I haven't seen either at all for a long while, which is probably bad. I should get, get that sorted. Um... This is printed, uh, what is that, oh, March 26th, 1986, and it has some stuff in the inside. Look inside for valuable savings and hot new offerings from Disney World. Here's how to get your $5 refund in case you think your film is shit. Save $5! Um, oh, another Amtrak Kids Ride Free thing. Uh, what is this? Uh, no, that's just... Leaf through video Wonderland of Disney Magic, and there's a bunch of shit in here which I can't be bothered to go through. If you watch my update, I think it's the 4th of August last year, I go through that book list in detail. Um, the next one I have is Spy Kids. Real spies, only smaller. I know this is this technically doesn't count as a Disney clamshot release, but I'm including it anyway because it's Buena Vista related. And this was printed on... March 3rd, 2001, and this is a very good film as well. I watched it last year in 35mm, and it was stupidly entertaining. I I was 16 years old, and I still had a great time with it. I probably shouldn't have, but whatever. Next, I've got a few from um, the Blank series. This is the comedy favourite series, the only one I have, The Absent Minded Professor. And th this is the colorized version. I don't know why colorization was a thing. I mean... And, as you can tell, this is a much later reprint, because it has the little blue lid here. And a print date of March 25th, 2003. The next one, these next two are part of a Hayley Mills collection, and this is That's Darn Cat. Uh, this is a very, very terribly superimposed cat onto this guy's head, and why doesn't he give a shit? Normally I would just be like, holy shit, there's a cat on my head! What? Get it off! Um, yeah. And this guy has paw prints all over his face, which is hilarious. And here's the uh, tape itself. Print date of January 19th, 1987. Next one is The Parent Trap, which is the only other Walt Disney blankety... Oh, it's a film classic, sorry. This is the only other Walt Disney film classics thing I have. And this has exactly the same opening as That Darn Cat. I think I uploaded that a while ago. Parent Trap, DFC... Maybe means don't fucking copy, I don't know. January 6th, 1987, it's a print date. And the rest of these that I have are either just generic Walt Disney Home video titles, Walt Disney Home Entertainment, whatever you want to call it. The first one is Dinosaur, which is a Canadian copy. Um, I watched this film a while back, it's the visual effects are undeniably amazing, but it was kind of ruined by the fact that the dinosaurs had to speak. And it, it at least did a better job than the recent movie, Walking with Dinosaurs, which was absolutely fucking atrocious. Don't watch that. As you can tell, I... I fuck me, I've already forgotten if I mentioned it's a Canadian copy or not. But as you can tell by the fact that it doesn't have a print date, it's, an, it's a Canadian copy. 
Despite still having just the MPAA rating listed there. The next one is my favorite Martian with Jeff Daniels and Christopher Lloyd. The Martian has landed. There goes the neighborhood! And yeah, I, I think I've watched this movie. I've, I've either tried to watch it or I've watched the whole thing. But yeah, I don't recall it being very good, even though I do very much like both of these two. Print date, July 13th, 1999. Next one is Jungle to Jungle with Tim Allen. The perfect family film, apparently. This is from 1997, I think it is. And yeah, this is printed, what's that? May 29th, 1997. Next one, Tom and Huck with Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Brad Renfro. A lot of kids get into trouble. These two invented it. Um, I haven't seen this film. I hear it's alright. I probably should watch it. And this is printed on November 3rd, 1996. Next one is Glenn Close in The 101 Dalmatians for Remake, which I don't think I've seen. I've seen, definitely seen the original, which is fantastic, but I haven't seen this one. The word on the mouth, the word on the mouth. Word on the street I hear about this movie is that Glenn Close is fantastic, but everything else is just a bit meh. This is printed April... F no, March 4th, 1997. The next one... Oh, shit. Um, is the TV remake of Annie with Disney making the classic musical more magical than ever, apparently. This is the first Disney VHS tape I owned... It was the only one I... It can't have been the first Disney VHS tape that I owned, because I remember owning stuff like the Tigger movie, the Roly Poly Early Christmas video, I don't remember what that was called. But this is the only one I kept before I started collecting. I don't know why. Um, w W O D, Witless Wank of Death, maybe. Printed on Leap Day 2000. Next one, Go Go Gadget, the greatest hero ever assembled. I think I tried watching this, but I didn't like it at all, so I just kind of cut it off. And this is printed February, no, no, not February, November 2nd, 1989. Oh, shit. Uh, next one is the third thing in the Aladdin uh, trilogy, The Return of Jafar, which is technically the second one. I, have, I haven't seen this, I've only seen Aladdin and the King of Thieves, but apparently this one isn't as good, partially because of the guy... I think it's the guy who, do, who voices Homer Simpson that does the genie this time, but he can't beat Robin Williams. There's a family PC mailing card, The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I think is a terribly, terribly overrated film. Uh, mailing card, Snow White, and a bunch of other stuff. And this was printed on May, yeah, May 11th, 1994. Next one, Finding Nemo, which um, I'm trying to remember if this, if this is a Canadian copy or not. I don't think it is. Discover the classic Pixar animated short, Nick Knack. If you haven't seen Finding Dory yet, that's a very good film. You should probably go and see it. Just go, just, just go and see it for the Pixar short, Piper, which appears before the movie and is the most fucking adorable thing you will ever see! Holy shit! Just, just go see it for that. It's worth it. I know it's been out for like a month in Britain, over two months in the States, but if it's still playing in a the theatre near you, go and see it. This has the black reels, the blue tape guard, and the print date is September 2nd, 2003. Ah shit, my music's nearly done. Let's get this last one done quick. Return to Neverland with Peter Pan and this grumpy looking chick. And uh, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen the original Peter Pan either. I don't own a copy of it. Maybe I should. We have the blue tape guard here, and this is printed on June 3rd, 2002. And that is it for both my video quality test of the iPhone 5S and also re-showing my Disney World Clamshell American Video Collection, which is the most oddly specific video title I think I've ever had, but whatever. I will probably try and redo some of my collection videos in the next few weeks. Um, if there's any collections you want me to do in before rental collection, I'm going to do that eventually. But as you can see, my shelf is a bit of a shit show at the moment, so doing that's going to be hard. But yeah, anything else you want me to do, just let me know and I'll try and get it done ASAP. That's all from me. I'm signing off.